Tarot Girls, Mrs. Air here uh, from the Mighty Cooper House. Just a quick video to let you know some updates that are going on at school. Um, been in lockdown for a while now, so I thought for this updated video I'd take you on one of my lockdown walks. This is my starting point, the beautiful view from my house on the hill. Um, it's quite a nice day today, so I'll take you on a walk and update you of all the wonderful things that we've got going on at school. So here we are, uh, just about to start our walk. I thought I should introduce you to the star of the walk. Uh, she's not being very cooperative at the moment, barking a little bit at the road. Anyhow, here we go. Come here, Myrtle. Myrtle, here we go. This is Myrtle. Say hi, Myrtle. So here we are, we've reached the top of, um, of our road. Uh, so the first thing I just wanted to let you know is um, with the overwhelming success of our learning advisory periods for our junior students and the student feedback that we've had around those learning advisory periods is that we're going to roll them out for the whole school next year. So every year level we'll have a learning advisory period where they will be focusing on learning how to learn and making sure they are prepared to do the best they can in whatever pathway they choose. So behind me on the roundabout, uh, you'll see the beautiful sculptures. These are fungal spores, which sum up Titarangi. It's a biological sculpture, which is why I love here, living here. As you know, biology is life. Okay, so now we're heading up um, Mount Atkinson. Uh, see the view from there, hopefully get a key peep of the school as well. Um, next thing I wanted to let you know is through the success of our pups, our pop-up passions, these are gonna be extended uh, for the whole school again, and they're gonna be known as eye pups. We hope to have some personal inquiry time during this period so that you can all investigate the things that are meaningful and relevant to yourselves. The idea is that uh, through your learning, you can make connections with the real world and take our learning out into the workplace or wherever else you see links. Uh, it will be work that is, or learning, that is developed and um, structured by students for students. So here we are, we've made it to the top of Mount Atkinson. In the background, you'll be able to see Waikamiti Cemetery, not far from school. Um, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, option choices for uh, year nine and 10 students. So some of you might be thinking, option choices for year nine and 10? Well, yep. So we're changing the way that we're gonna be teaching our year nine and 10 students. Rather than you having uh, classes of science, English, maths, we're gonna be combining our subjects to make available to you integrated learning. So you'll have the choice of different modules that you want to do that'll combine different subjects, such as a science English module, or a dance PE module, or a PE maths module. Module choices. You'll have two modules, which are integrated modules. You'll have one module, which is a literacy focus and one module that is a numeracy focus. All of those modules can be taken in various different subject areas, dependent on what you're interested in and your needs to cover the curriculum. Don't worry, we've designed modules to cover all areas of the curriculum. And if you're in year nine at the moment, going into year 10, our modules have been designed so you cover what you need by the end of year 10. Within these modules, we're going to be combining our Year 9 and 10 classes. So you'll be in a combined Year 9, Year 10 class for all of your subjects. Year 11 will be taking a similar designed course with four modules. These will cover various different curriculum areas which you can pick based on your interests and passions. Don't 
don't worry, each of our modules has been designed by curriculum specialists and they will have ensured that you will cover what you need to progress in different subject areas at the higher levels. So over my shoulder, you'll be able to see the Manukau Harbour. This is ever changing. So what things are not changing at our school? Some things that aren't changing are the day structure. We'll still have hour and a half blocks, interval and lunch times will still be at the same time and we'll still have far no period. Myrtle is in agreement that that's a great idea. Year 12 and Year 13, they'll still continue to select options in the ways that they have previously. Single cell subjects taught over six lines. So we're now on Scenic Drive, just making our way home. Um, I hope that these changes excite you and that you're looking forward to what 2022 is going to be like. Uh, for now, focus on the remainder of 2021. Do your best, engage in your lessons, talk to your Farno teachers for support, talk to your subject teachers. Um, just do what you can. Look after yourselves, look after your Farno, take care, and we'll see you when we get back to school. And Myrtle and I are home. I hope you've enjoyed our walking tour. Can't wait to see you all back at school. Take care, stay safe. Kick ass.